Hello, I'm Keith Ford and welcome to this edition of From the Vault. Today I have one of my favorite handguns of all time, my HK P7 M13. After seeing the ineffectiveness of the 32 ACP and the Walther PP during the Munich Massacre at the Munich Olympics in 1972, German police forces were looking for something more high-powered and better suited for use. HK, Sig Sauer, and Walther brought out three different guns. HK developed the P7, or more commonly known as the PSP, Police Self-Loading Pistol. Sig Sauer developed the P225, which was accepted as the P6, and Walther brought out the P5, which was a slimline, snub-nosed version of the Walther P38. Now the HK P7 series has some very unique features and revolutionary by design, and I'll show them to you right here. First off, we release the magazine. Check chamber, shake, make sure that there's nothing in there, everything's clear. To disassemble the P7, we'll push in on this right here, pull the slide back, tilt forward, move your recoil spring, and that's the breakdown of the handgun. Now, some of the revolutionary designs of this gun is it has polygonal rifling in it, and 18 flutes in the chamber, which means no matter how dirty this thing gets, it's going to pull that round out. Now this right here is the gas piston, which holds the slide in place until pressure drops and then it slides out. And to reassemble, and push this catch back in, and there we go, she's reassembled. Pretty simple. Now the most notable feature of the P7 series is the squeeze cocker ability right here. Reach up, grab it, the gun is cocked. Let go, she's decocked and ultra safe. So this round, so this can be carried with a live round in there with no worries whatsoever about it ever going off. Because the only time that it would ever happen is if this is ever squeezed and locked back in place. Let go, she's down. I will say one thing about the P7 series of handguns. If you're shooting them a lot, they start starting getting hot down here on this dust cover area. That's why on the P7M8s and the P7M13s, they have this plastic area right here. Kind of keeps the heat away from your finger. Now, an interesting little piece of history behind the P7M13 is that a nickel-plated version was used in the original Die Hard movie by villain Hans Gruber. So if you ever see that, you'll see a P7M13 nickel plated, and that has kind of given this handgun a cult following. These guns have went from a fairly reasonable price to almost unaffordable anymore. Good pieces like this are in the range of around $3,500 to $4,000. This one right here is an all original Chantilly, Virginia piece that was brought in around 1985-1986 the original matching box. Covers, spare magazine, instructions, safety, manual. Still has the original unfilled out warranty card, your gas tube cleaning brush, and your carbon scraper. So yes, I am proud of this little gun right here. Because I don't think I'll ever find another one quite like this. Now there's some other lesser well-known varieties of the P7, which was the P7K3, which is, was available in 22 long rifle, 32 ACP, and 380 ACP. Also, there was a P7M10, which was in 40 caliber for the US market, and a P7 PT8, which was in 45, which is pretty much I think only one of them were ever produced. So there's not a lot of these floating around that are in really good shape because a lot of them were used by police forces. In the U.S., if I remember correctly, Utah State Police and no New Jersey State Police carried them, and I believe the U.S. Park Service carried them for a while. But if you ever find a really nice example at a good price, snatch it because they're well worth it and they are just wonderful shooters. Thanks for watching. If you have a gun you'd like to see featured on From the Vault, just drop us a note. We'll see you next time whenever we bring another gun from the vault.